How are you feeling this morning? No flash photography. No flash photography. Can someone turned the sun off as well. <laughs> are your pants dry yet? Yeah. No. I think they're still drying. Oh, uh, they're still drying. And your jacket? My ego is still bruised. Yeah, but that's always bruised though. <laughs> <laughs> like your knees, eh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so glad I said that. Okay. Yeah, but my knees are from running, not from bending like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, 23rd of June and basically day one of our flyaway, the BAC battle wagon. Um, and thankfully my, my partner in crime has just arrived safely, which is always a good thing. And uh, it looks like he's arrived in style. That's the lane I'm going to be in. <laughs> How's it going? How's it, how's it? Yeah, it's finally here. Yeah. <laughs> So Tony and I have just arrived in Crawfordnet. We're the first people here. Um, I think Ava's just flown over, so it's quite a fast 150. Um, but it's quite impressive that our little, well, Tony's little 360 made it all the way to PE 
to pick me up and then we made it to Croft Net and we got here before everybody else. It's um, either we fast or you guys are all slow. <laughs> but we are here. <laughs> and Ava's pretty fast as well. Um, yeah, that looks like that looks like him. I think he Yeah, he must have left really early this morning. Um, quite impressed with the 360. It's um it's a nice little flight. It's quite fast. It's comfortable. Um, and I don't, I don't know how comfortable it's going to be in mild turbulence or moderate turbulence over a long period of time, but <laughs> probably not. <laughs> it's Tony shaking his head. <laughs> but uh, fuel burn versus speed, geez, man, it's, it's brilliant. Um, quite a sexy little airplane. And uh, yeah, maybe one day, maybe one day you'll have one, eh, Pat? <laughs> Very nice landing, Arthur. Very nice. Good morning. Morning, Arthur. How How's it going, man? A bit chilly, but otherwise How's it going? it's okay. You yeah, good, good. High. All right, morning. Do you require fuel? Oh, yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Lucky, man. So how was the flight, Ava? Was it? Actually, nice. The only thing was my, uh, my attitude indicator started doing somersaults. Oh, so uh, okay. I'm, I'm without stat, but I'm not that I needed it. Yeah, uh, just look out the window. <laughs> 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 How's it going, man? How's it going? Good yourself? Hey, Darren, how's it going, man? Yeah, you will. Good, 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 thanks. Slap feel. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop that old man. Going. Hey, how's it going? Right. Yeah, good, you, man. Awesome. Good. good. <laughs> it was freak cold up there. <laughs> yeah, it was, eh? It was seven degrees where we were. No, we were down to two degrees. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> hey, LVX has just arrived. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, beautiful. How's it? How are you? Yeah, good in yourself. All right. You guys cold? You have no idea. <laughs> no, you no, have no idea. I thought idea. you were going to keep yourselves warm. You know, okay. keep each other warm. No, Grant, we've got a story for the ages. Eh? Is it? Okay. <laughs> How was your flight? Oh, that was good. good. It was nice, yeah. Fast. It was fast, very fast, yeah. We're we going to have a drag race when you leave. Eh? I think so, yeah. We'll be drag you behind us. Mac, how's it going? Hey, shit, so good to see you. Yeah, a long oh, time good to see you too, man. Yes. It's been a while. Congrats, hey. You got married the other day. Oh, thank you. you. Thanks, man. <laughs> Starting yeah. a family, or was it a hefty marriage? No, no, not one of those. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> PJD has just arrived. Um, they over there. Like uh, Chris and uh, Andrew. How's it going, Chris? Right, well, good, 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 good thanks. Yeah. Andrew, how's it going, man? Well. What is that you've got there? Coffee. Is that coffee? Is that enough for all of us? It's enough for all of us. Okay, How that's good. <laughs> None, thank you. The Super Cup's just arrived. Oh, 
Alright, hey, how's it going, man? Yeah, good to see you too. How was your flight? Oh, nice. It's good. Okay. The first little bit was a bit uh, with a bit struggle with the headwind. Yes, but uh, other than that, it was good. I see you're wearing a, like a flight suit, yeah? Yeah, part of the style. Oh, keep warm. <laughs> oh, your, your, your heater doesn't work, eh? Hey? It leaks a little bit over here. What, what heat? <laughs> Long time I see you, really. Jeez, man. Yeah. Hi. How's it? How's it? Uh, food, yeah? Yeah, oh, great, man. Yeah, we've, we've met quite a long time ago. Yes, yes. Yeah. Nice of you to join us, man. Yeah, it's lovely, man. Oh, by the way, this is the man responsible for. Oh, yeah, he's uh, yeah. <laughs> designing our little. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Our logo, our battle wagon logo. Bat the battle wagon logo. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much for, for doing that. The ostrich. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it's on the. I take it it's on the shirt. So I haven't seen them yes. yet. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 yeah, no. I must. I must grab my shirt later on. <laughs> Henny and Bradley have just arrived in. Uh, Tango Whiskey, Tango, what is it? Tango Whiskey Foxtrot. <laughs> so, let's go and say hello. Oh, sorry. Foxtrot Whiskey Foxtrot. How's it going, bro? You well, man? You think so? Yeah, I like it. 114 liters. How was the flight, Amy? Good. Good, okay. All made it. Oh, Hedwin, yeah, everybody everybody had that, eh? <laughs> How's it, How's it going? Good in yourself. How was the flight? Oh, cold. <laughs> cold. <laughs> the last bit was very cold. <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, well, at least yeah, you can thaw out in the sun a bit, eh? Yeah. yeah, how's it going, guys? Good, good. How was the flight? Yeah. You glad you're here? I know. Was it chilly? It's frip and fresh, but this thing, this thing leaks like a sieve. <laughs> yes. Leaks air, hopefully, not fuel. Air. Yeah. Air. Yeah. Cold fucking air, too. <laughs> and it's all over your legs, bro. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no, man. Oh, well, at least you're here. And it should only get warmer from now on. Huh? It should only get warmer from now on. I don't think That's so. Well, I, I don't, don't know. think so. We'll see. It's quite a contraption you got there, yeah, it's just, so when I'm drunk, so when I'm drunk, it still looks like good video. How's it going? Nice to see you. Good, good, yeah. good to see you guys too. Are, Roy, are, are you the safety officer? I'm a safety officer now. Not? Are you sure? I was told I was a safety officer. Uh, I some more guys coming. Yeah. I think so. How's it going? Yeah, good. Long stuff, time to see. Yeah, it's been uh, what two weeks? Two yeah, weeks? Still yeah. long time there. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Time. Hello, Mark. <laughs> Tell us about your beast here, man. <laughs> is this the yeah. first outing? This is the first outing. The first real, out, real four outing. With this real four outing with this real hot <laughs> machine that cruises at 90 knots <laughs> in a dive. <laughs> you know what? It's 90 knots faster than walking, eh? Yeah, it is. Exactly <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Carrie, how's it yeah, going? Right. Oh, it's been for a while, yeah, it's been a while, man. Yeah. You well? Oh, good, good. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Good. Are you enjoying your purchase? Very much so, yeah. That's a hot air balloon. <laughs> it must be uh, so nice to be cruising around in this morning.
Hey, hey. What's happening? Are these are these Dhaka cookies? Are, these? <laughs> are you that cool? Did you make them for us? They're wonderful. Okay. Thank, thanks very much. <laughs> or we won't, just won't say anything that anything was put in. No, no. Apparently you can't drink and fly, so you might as well. <laughs> cool. The diet goes. But Tony, Tony, you, you're on a special diet, so you're not allowed to have. Ah. Is it a special occasion? It's Jan's birthday. Crazy. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Jan. Very nice. Thank you. This is Brian. Black summer, that was cold. Sorry, what is that, Brian? It was cold. It was cold. <laughs> How's it going, man? How's it going? You will. that deserves a fine for being the last one here. So Brian, what you? What is it? No wait, this thing's... Oh, no, it is working, yeah. What are you doing there? So much for the pleasures of owning a jabby. You have to check the oil. <laughs> have to check the oil. Otherwise, well. it's reliable all the time. What? Yeah. All of these guys have to. Yeah. yeah. You, you're the only real pilot here doing that. Uh, you know, these other guys away. are kind of just taking just it taking as it, it is. Granted. Yeah. <laughs>
that. Eh? Isn't yet? Do you know where you're going yet? No idea, but no, no uh, idea. What else are this? Koi, koi pan or kupan? That's Mitchell's move. That's, oh, that's Albert of Port Alfred. I'm not quite sure. Port, Port Alfred, okay. Yeah. Good. That's good. Because I, I see all of uh, all of those guys. They they know where they're going. Do they know? I don't Are know. They, they're going to Port Alfred. Aren't we going to Port Alfred? I think so. Yeah, Port Alfred, eh? Yeah. Port Alfred is. Um, that way. That, that way. That way. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, Avblend, yeah. Avblend, eh? Oh, they say it's good days, it's, it's, it's the right stuff. If you run out of fuel, chuck Avblend in. So That's I'm going to do that. Do you guys know where you're going? No, no we don't. We don't know oh. where we're going. No, we don't know how to work the GPS. <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. It's um, quite a big... Oh, I can't see it. But it's, yeah, there, it's there, there, a, there's that. I think this is the on-off switch there. Oh, there, the on-off switch yeah, there. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. wonderful. We'll, <laughs> we'll all get there. take them and then uh, well at least most of them will overtake them and then get to Prince Albert before everybody and then we can watch them all come back in um, it's been quite nice it's not that cold it's not as cold as I thought it was gonna be um, yeah I, mean, I don't know anything you want to add like, most of the guys didn't know where they were going actually yeah yeah it's a bit disappointing you know we took a bunch of competent aviators only to find out as the guys yeah. climbing their planes they looking for coordinates and stuff so but you know those who fail to plan plan to fail uh, but here we are we organize we, we've done our plan no oh, pretty much so if we get lost then we won't say a word to anyone <laughs> yeah i'll just cut this out of the video <laughs> <laughs> cut it there so uh, yeah i'll see you in the air just arrived at Prince Alfred um, after our short 40 minute trip from Crawford well it is it is short for us for for some people not so short for the slower aircraft um, but the weather's been nice and everybody got here safely which is the most important thing as you can see there's everybody there um, and everybody's in good spirits we've all got a beer which is it's always a good thing to have in hand. <laughs> Don't laugh, Wayne. <laughs> hello, hello. It's the commentary again. The commentary, yeah. We see we've got to do all of these little in full yes, sort of I shots to tie everything together. Very so, <laughs> so yeah, everybody's uh, made it here safely, which is which is great, and we're going to spend two nights here, I think. How, Wayne, how, how many nights are we spending here? Many? We're spending two nights here, right? Yeah. yeah, we're spending two nights here, and then we head off back to. Well, we go back to. Port Elizabeth, I think Wayne, you go to Cape Town. Yeah. And then everybody else goes back to Wings. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully hopefully it's a good weekend, and well, I'm sure it will be. Um, and there's, there's nice things to come. There's rugby on tomorrow. So we're all going to gather somewhere and watch that. And, yeah, I don't know what else to say other than it's been a great day so far. <laughs> Next time, I'm 
the bottom. Yes. Okay. Yeah, too. <laughs> oh yes, this is, yeah. Yeah. this is the box yeah. that we want to be in, eh? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Give us a few words here. I've got no yeah. words to say. I'm wordless. You're wordless. wordless yeah. Yeah. What, talk, what can you say about uh, the flight? How, how was it? Was it good? Beautiful. 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 We saw you. Did you see yeah. me? No, saw are you? You. Oh, no, ask him. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you? How do you, you, how do you feel down. on the flight? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel so good. Eh? What? I was... Um, uh, a yeah, Grant, I, I told you. You would say that. I told yeah. you two beers, turbulence. Then it would have been good, eh? Yeah. So we do all the time. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling Next that schedule. great. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, obviously you guys, were I saw I was feeling Darren. you were up and down, and oh, you were feeling Darren. Yeah, feeling Darren. No, 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 he cheated. He cheated. He tells he's flying last, and he'll then be behind us. Meanwhile, he files flight level six files, goes right over the top, doesn't go and above then, the diversion, goes straight there and lands <laughs> before us. And says, what, "What took you guys so long?" Yeah, oh, that's that's Patrick for you. Typical Patrick. But it's all, oh, it's all in good fun, eh? And what do you do? What are we all gathering for a beer or a photo now? What's the story? Have you had a beer? Have you had a beer? Yeah, yeah, we go. Okay, so so basically we our transport, you, me. Uh, Tony and Nigel, the same accommodation, okay, same place, cool. and there's a lady here come to fetch us. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so our transport's here already, but uh, it looks like Dave is, he's, what's, he's the person that's organized the whole event, and uh, looks like he wants a photograph, so we'll all gather over there, <laughs> and yeah, we'll see what happens after that. So, uh, we're just about to have a little chat to Linda, she's the deputy mayor of Prince Albert. She's basically come out to welcome us, or not only myself and Seth, but to welcome everybody that arrived today. Very nice lady. <laughs> yeah, she's very nice. Um, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the town and the airfield and, um, I don't know, just, just randomly what to do, really. Um, well, that's what I think is going to happen. I don't know, what else What else was she going to tell us? Uh, she was still going to talk about the airfield and they're trying to save it. Um, yeah, basically, yeah, it was, yeah, she just came to welcome us and then uh, hopefully they, that they um, can save the airfield and keep it up and running and maybe get some upgrades and have a couple of flyings a year maybe. Mm, uh, nice. It's a very nice airfield and I think I'd like to come back here. <laughs> It's, uh, we haven't even gone into the town well, yet. Well, yeah, we haven't really gone into the town yet, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be very nice. <laughs> this is Linda and she is the deputy mayor of... Uh, Prince Albert. She came out specially to meet us, the battle wagon, after we landed here, and uh, which is quite an honor for us. Uh, our 22 airplanes have arrived here, 38 guys, and we have the Deputy Mayor to greet us. It's fantastic. It's a great pleasure. So this is, you know, it's the municipal air, airfield, and um, it's been here quite a while. Um, okay. And our good friend Hans has been very helpful in um, making, in sort of keeping it maintained. And just for your arrival, he managed to get a bit of chalk out on the... Mm -hmm. Thing. So he did a, he started quite a great job and he was really worried about the weather yesterday because we had um, rain and wind and he was and this would have been unusable. So okay. I think you brought brilliant weather for us. Well we lucky we, we fortunate too because we planned this a few months ago to mm. come come up and you never can never pre you know predict what the weather's gonna do. Yeah. And the last few weekends in, in East London have been terrible. Yeah. Um, fortunately, last weekend was bad, so we were hoping then, okay, this weekend will be good. Yeah. And the wind was blowing there this morning, 30 knots headwind when we came out of East London. And slowly it just got better and better and better, and we arrived here, and the hospitality has been fantastic. Yeah. I mean, Hans has been extraordinary with his, with his planning and helping us. Yes. First time we've met him was when we landed here, <laughs> but he's been like part of the team for the yeah. last month. Yeah, well, um, and the guys are really looking forward to it. Well, we've, yeah. been, we've been all over the country on other battle wagon trips, and the, mm. it's our first trip here to um, Prince, uh, Prince Albert. And um, basically, the guys are really keen, you know, yeah. looking forward to it. We've, we've heard so much about the place. Yeah, well, that's and, uh, a nice little town, lots to mm. offer you, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful stay. Uh, thanks so yeah. much. Thank okay. you. And I hope it's not the last time you'll be here. No, not at and all. And as far as your airfield is concerned, mm. what you guys should do is have an annual fly in here. You know, it's a lovely venue. Yes. It's uh, quite central to a lot of the, the, the bigger s centers. Yes. And you could get 50 airplanes here at a time, no problem. Okay. Um, 
people love this, the, you know, the, the back country, the Karoo yeah. atmosphere and all that yeah. sort of thing. And it's yeah. a perfect venue for it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, stunning scenery here. Yeah. And, um, you know, yeah. we go to fly-ins and that um, elsewhere in the, in the country. And I must say, this is one of the lo most, you know, loveliest venues I, mm. I can see. So, and yeah. you've got plenty of space for all the airplanes. Yep. So uh, if you want to keep your airfield, well, we do. Do that. We're working hard <laughs> to keep it. So thank you. So Hans, I think um, tourism and everyone will have a chat and mm. see what we can do. Excellent. Yeah. And if okay. you do have a fly-in, we'll invite you first. Call us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks very thanks much. Thanks so much. Thank nice meeting you. Thank you. Hi, are you Colleen? Hi, yes, sorry. Nice I'm to meet you. just going to try and get some hands free here. Oh, there we nice go. That was a nice to meet you too. Hello, I'm Colleen. I'm Margaret. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have all the other guests arrived already? Yes, yes okay, the wonderful. other guys are all on the back stoop. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah, let's, um, let me go and join them. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. We'll see you, um, I don't know whenever, but thank you very much for the lift. Sam is going to threaten to take us for a ride tomorrow. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, you'll enjoy that. Can I grab that view again? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Hey, how's it going, man? Um, yeah, it looks like old Nigel's on the phone there. Wait, hang on. It's a little bit dark. Here we go. <laughs> um, yeah. What my loved one that have arrived safe okay. and sound. She was N Nigel has arrived safe. We, yeah. we can see him. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, she's just concerned because I was flying with Steve. Oh, okay, so that's the problem. So, okay. so yeah, that, that, yes. that is... <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Um, well, Colleen's, uh, Colleen's uh, going to show us to her room now. Well, where are we going okay, to? Just to show you that your buddies are in these two rooms here and okay. up that little staircase. Okay, sure. You're further down, but there is a small kitchen here with a fridge, okay. tea and coffee making. Oh, wonderful. Because there isn't in your room. That's fine. I don't okay. drink tea or coffee anyway. Okay. So well, there perfect. is a fridge with cool drinks and okay. bottled water and stuff. Oh, okay. perfect. Okay, Let thank you. Let me show you where you are. Okay. You're in the shoebox. It's fine. And because you came last, that's why you're in the shoebox. It's a private one. Nice and cozy. It's cozy and yeah, warmer than outside. <laughs> Let me just put that down. Yo, thank you. Okay. Thank you, thanks very much. That's, that's wonderful. We've just been told about this leewater. What is it? Leewater. Yeah. Like lying water. Uh, no. no, it's lazy water. water. Lazy water. <laughs> it's lazy water. <laughs> Channel water. You can't, you can't pee in it, right? So you can't pee in it. <laughs> no, it's quite impressive. I think it's fantastic and it still operates. So what do you do with this lazy water? It feeds whole towns. So this is how they get their water. So certain people have got Comes permission down. to use it and then it'll go past like someone's yard and he's got permission to use it and you'll be allowed to use like an hour a day. So he'll open up a, he'll open up a, like a sluice or something. A sluice yeah. gate and it'll divert into his and then he'll take it and obviously he'll close it. So, but now what happens to the end? No. They still got pop water for drinking and stuff. It's very interesting. I've, I've never actually seen this ever before in my life. <laughs> so, yeah, irri mainly irrigation water, not drinking water, but, but still, I've never seen this before. It's quite nice. Nice to see these little things still happening or working in the, these little towns. Are we going for a walk? Yeah. Okay, cool.
still looks like it's gone. Nothing new about that. <laughs> oh, you can greet everyone in the street, man. Why not? Oh, it's just good manners, man. Yeah. I'm a polite person. It's friendly. It's right here. So you got to work walk through. Oh, wait. <laughs> it is the place. Katsu, right here. Morning. Morning. Hey. Good morning. Morning. Oh, how's it going? <laughs> are you still sitting here? Why are you sitting here? Okay, now you're going to get some chair. <laughs> yeah, have a seat. Yeah. Uh, Would you like to see what the morning after the next yeah. looks looks like? <laughs> the morning after the night before. You reckon? Oh, he was in that bed last night. Yeah, he's looks bad all the time. Oh. <laughs> Everything you said, we already knew, more or less. So well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. Oh, it's looking quite good. What do you What do you reckon, Nigel? Tell us about the the breakfast that you're going to have. I've got uh, poached eggs, spinach, tomato, mushrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, Five-star breakfast, uh, fit for a king. So, uh, fit for somebody like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just left our accommodation. Uh, it is quite a nice, cozy little place. Um, what is it called? Country shop, country stay. Yes. Country, it's yeah. country stay. Um, had a very nice breakfast. I think Billy's uh, organising a bit of a wine route and cheese tasting uh, expedition. So that should be quite interesting. And yeah, I'm not sure what else uh, other than uh, rugby this afternoon. I'm not sure what else we're going to do. Yeah. Otherwise. It's damn cold yeah, that's all that's all I can really say. <laughs> Ryan, what what does that sign mean? It means I'm alone the Prince of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Tony and I have just uh, decided to walk to the airfield since that's what we had to do is just to see the town and it's, it's actually quite a nice way to see the town. So for the rest of you guys, um, you're missing out. Go and fly your planes. You know, <laughs> we'll, we'll enjoy the town which is what we came to see. Um, it looks like actually somebody has already taken off. We saw a lot of dust earlier, uh, probably about five minutes ago. And I think some of the, where are they going to? Uh, it's a bit of everything, I think. I think uh, one or two guys are just taking some of the locals for flips. And, uh, and then some of the guys want to do a formation flight over town. And then uh, head down over the Swatwick Pass to Osirin to get fuel, I think. Okay. Uh, they'll probably be, be gone most of the day if that's it. Yeah, well, that, actually, that is a bit of a, an issue. We had to try and... I think they've got to try and get fuel out of trams and come by you at the petrol station. I don't know. Eh? Yeah, it's, it's been a little bit complicated. Some of the guys who can take normal petrol to school, but uh, the guys with air gas is a little bit more complex. 
And um, yeah, Sunday is always a difficult day to get fuel in any part of the world, I suppose, or more especially South Africa. <laughs> and even routing past PE, the are going to have to leave really early if they want to get to PE before they close and avoid call out fees. So. Yeah, remember, guys, I phoned PE for you, and they open from 8 until 11 on a Sunday morning. That's not going to help you watching this video because that would have passed quite a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but don't say I didn't tell you. <laughs> found something quite interesting. Hang on, let me just get this camera angled right here. Yeah? Getting tired. There we go. Um, so, in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> in the driest, well, one of the driest parts in South Africa, I suppose, um, we're busy walking and we found a golf course. <laughs> go a figure. A um, Karoo version of a golf course. Well, yeah, Karoo, have a look at this. There's the fairway. <laughs> there's the cubby playing golf. <laughs> Check it out, eh? Yeah. It's, um, should we go and have a look at the... Yeah, let's ask them if we can pull them in the truck. Yeah. Um, it's quite random to see this type of golf course, um, you know, in such a small town. And uh, the guy was telling us a little bit about it yesterday, the, the guy that sort of drove us into town. Um, and he said it's... Sorry, the guy was taking a shot. Um, and... He said it used to be quite a nice golf course, but it's run, it's been run down over the last couple of years. So, um, morning. How's it going? Oil greens. I don't know. Oil greens, maybe. Isn't this the thing? That's the old shoot. Oh yeah, as Tony was saying, I don't know if you got that, but um, that must be the run. Yeah, there's the runway. There's the runway down there. We're on the right track. Okay, I'm down. One of the shitty parts of doing all the filming is that uh, you've always got to go back and fetch the camera. <laughs> So, after our long walk, we finally got to the runway. It wasn't actually that bad. It was quite refreshing. Yeah, it's yeah. quite good, yeah. nice, uh, probably half an hour or so. Um, and we've got to the, the beginning of the runway. <laughs> so, yeah, some of the guys are already flying around and, you know, beating up the sky, wasting fuel. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens when we get there. Okay, so, how's it? We've done a little walk through the bush. Yeah, there. Ricky there. What did you find there? Nothing. <laughs> a lot of. We found a golf course. Yeah, it was a golf course. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Now they actually teeing off when we left it. Yeah. Morning. How's it? Where did you find space to pack that in the 150? <laughs> was it a blub car? You guys have a nice flight. Nice man. Theo, what what aircraft is this? What what is what is Zenith it called? Six fifty. A Zenith six fifty. Yeah, with a, with a modified canopy. Oh okay. The okay. canopy is uh, like the Europa. Mm. 
It's quite interesting. I thought it, I, I guessed it was a tiger because, you know, but, but uh, no, a tiger. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, cool. It looks, yeah, it looks interesting. Oh, we've got some uh, interesting planes on the flyway. Um, you know, if we think about our old club planes, which are basically they're both standing there next to each other, the Cherokee and the Sling, which is not that old. Um, but we've got some other interesting ones that all of our members like to fly every now and again. Um, these guys are looking at me funny as I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> or at least Tony is. To the olive farm. Yeah, yeah. I don't need olives, but I'll come with. Okay, no, no, yeah. no, I don't need olives either, okay. but I'm sure that they'll have a slice of dry bread or something. Okay, okay. Plans for lunch. We're going to an olive farm, which should be interesting. I'm not sure what's happened about the whole cheese and wine thing, but I'm pretty sure um, Billy was keen to go since he was organising it, and I'm sure some guys have gone with him. So. Uh, I suppose each of us are just milling around and exploring the town at our own leisure. <laughs> uh, otherwise, yeah, it was all in all, it was a good walk. I enjoyed it. I'm glad we don't have to walk back. But once we get back to the town, I think we'll take a little bit of a walk, um, you know, out the out the higher side of town to see what's what's available. And yeah, then we get ready for the rugby later on. Um, it, it seems like everybody is also fueled up. Um, so that's all been sorted out rather sooner, sooner than later. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what else to say really, <laughs> other than the fact that it's uh, very nice weather. I'm glad I made the effort of uh, bringing all the camera equipment to document everything that everybody's doing. Um, I'm sure they'll all appreciate it. And yeah, we'll just see where it goes from there. heading into town <laughs> as you can see it's quite bumpy and I think we're going to back to the hotel so everybody can get a couple of things a couple of beers and that for the for the rugby and then we're gonna head off to an olive farm that I was talking about earlier go and have some lunch so should be should be interesting to see a bit more of the farm <laughs> we've just arrived at the bottle store have we arrived at the bottle store no, the garage for fuel. Oh, the garage for fuel. That's yeah. <laughs> some yeah, some of the guys, well, actually most of the guys, have got to carry jerry cans for the uh, for the fuel for the aircraft. So um, it's been back and forth with the guys helping us out with the transport back and forth to the airport and uh, filling up 20 and 10 litre jerry cans to fill fuel. <laughs> For that entire long trip, I was shoved in the boot. So thanks for that, guys. <laughs> you guys uh, enjoying a little sit down here? Diamond villages. You actually enjoying a beer there already? You didn't have enough last night. Not enough, eh? Hey? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. I'm doing free flight for tomorrow. Why tomorrow, not tonight? Yeah, flight tomorrow. Okay, free flight for then. <laughs>
finished lunch at the olive farm and we're going to head back into town now. I think some of the old men are going to go have a nap. <laughs> Tony, I don't think, Tony, you're not one of the old men that's going to nap, are you? Well, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm definitely not. But uh, some of the older guys, he has a young, yeah, he has a young driver. He's <laughs> been taking us around all day. He's definitely not gonna, gonna nap. I can no see he's still uh, sprightly. Um, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna grab some, some beers and watch some rugby. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's pretty much it. back at the hotel and uh, I think we're gonna catch up with some of the guys now um, not sure exactly where we're watching rugby so well, I'm sure we'll find out where are we watching rugby uh, we're watching uh, we're watching rugby in the Swatberg Hotel and of course South Africa is gonna win so um, after getting back from lunch we kind of just packed the cooler box got off got a few beers and a little bit of ice together for later on um, but it seems like the seems like the the seasoned gentlemen have all gone to sleep for the afternoon and the youngsters are all at the what I think it's called the bush pig that's where we were last night um, and Tony and I don't know who else actually. They are at. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what the place is called actually. <laughs> lizard, some something lizard, lazy lizard, um, which is where I'm walking to now. So I'll go meet up with them, and we'll see what's happening. Um, it seems like there's not much happening at the town at the moment. So Saturday afternoon, everything's very quiet, and it's quite quite different. I think I'd like to come back to this this little town. Uh, hopefully, we have another fly in next year. There's been talk about tomorrow everybody going via George um, back to back to East London via the coast. Um, I think some guys are still wanting to pick up fuel in Port Elizabeth um, and then and then heading on, heading on home. But I think we'll sort that all out tomorrow. And then at least I've got to lift home. <laughs> since I need to go to PE and everybody else is going to, to East London. So anyway, I'll just see how that goes. I'm pretty much randomly walking around Prince Alfred looking for this lazy lizard place. Um, Tony told me over the phone to walk past the church, which is it's back there. and. I should find it. I haven't found it yet, so I'm just going to carry on walking and, and looking. Hopefully something comes up. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I think that's it down there. It can only be where all of the cars are parked, so not too much more walking to do. Hopefully. <laughs> Here it is, yeah. There it is, there. <laughs> Finally. Hopefully, they are all still here. Gee, X, thanks for. Thanks for, thanks for waiting for me, yeah. What did you say? Huh? Should have come with, where? This is last night of two gentlemen at the table eating ribs. Yes, these two. No, these no, two. Because no, they remember no. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, You'd I like don't. like to be proven that you ate something. <laughs> um, I do. I might have some footage of you walking out there rather straight out the door. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't you, huh? Okay. The door kept shifting, eh? Yeah, the door it's, kept it's, yeah. Is that the same 
No. Yeah, no, it wasn't. <laughs> where was I? To, where were you today? I was. We were walking. You actually left us here in town. We had to walk to the bloody airfield. Thanks for that. How far was it? We <laughs> oh shit! It took us, it took us about half an, uh, 40 minutes. It's a nice walk. Yeah, it is. A, it's a very nice walk. You, if you want to go in the morning, it's actually nice to. I mean, it took us. We just strolled. It maybe 40 minutes. Like, it's stupid, you know. What? No. Why? What do you mean? Ride back to where? Oh, why? What happened, Pierre? Did you really? For doing what? Disturbing the peace. No, man. I know there was, you guys put something on the group or something like no low flying and what did they come here and uh, come there and say who's this? And they want my license number and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And then he goes to Oaks or then almost knocks the parachute. Where's the picture? Where's the picture of you in the trans van? Oh, is he, have you got footage of it? No, 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 I saw the picture. As they rest of the actually. It's like pushing it. No, man. Yeah, they're both. Uh, you're actually just bullshitting. <laughs> That's where I found everybody, eventually. I need to make a, a little bit of a correction to my previous statement. I actually found more than just Tony at the Lazy Lizard. Um, <laughs> there, <laughs> there was quite a few of the seasoned gentlemen there that were not sleeping. Um, so only half of them half of them went and had an afternoon nap. The other guys were, were hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sadly, sorry about that. fly Jabiru's, which is a bit of a touchy point. Uh, yeah, well, we won't talk about that. But, but to you guys that didn't go to sleep, sorry, sorry about that. Just come back from our walk, we decided to walk out the top of town um, just to see what it was like. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice actually, it was a nice little walk. So we, we basically actually walked from right on, right to the top of town to, to the bottom of town. Um, yeah, it was, it was worth doing I think. Um, we also flew the drone at the top where we found quite a nice a reservoir to, to fly off of and I uh, got some interesting shots and then we decided Maybe it's time to head back down because <laughs> the rugby's already started, so we need to get back so we can watch. Are you finished on the phone now? Yes, I answer. Okay, cool. Okay, so Tony was just uh, on the phone, so I was waiting for him. Um, let's, go and, let's go and watch some rugby. That's where we'll be watching rugby. Just about there. <laughs>
worth any family. Mac, what are you busy doing here? Well, by yourself in the corner. I've compiled a wonderful list of all the little transgressions throughout the throughout the. Let's um, have a quick look. Yes, that is a list and a half, eh? Yeah, here we go, and they all been Jeez. put in, and some more. So it should be very, very exciting. Okay, I like it, man. A local drink over here, Cedric's, and some coffee. Look here, you put them together. It's called a spinner copy. <laughs> so we're gonna catch a few of the guys with the spinner copy. <laughs> I like it. Nice. Sounds good. Wonderful to also been a, a master, which is quite great because everyone's been so nice to me over the, over the last few days. But um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to punish one or two back. Eh? Um, let's have a look over here. I think the first one over here, Seth, can you just help me, please, man? I need, I need you to give this to a special person. This is something, it's a local drink over here. It's called a spinner. <laughs> okay. So, um, the first one off the blocks over here is going to be for. Alright, guys, I would like to um, extend a, a special thanks to all of you for making this really, really a worthwhile flyaway. Without you, without your support, it wouldn't have happened. I'd like to extend a special thanks to Dave Hartman. And to Chris Bodie for putting it together. Without these guys' dedication, this would not have happened. And um, give yourself a round of uh, applause. Back, you know, I was going to say something. First of all, thank you to you, okay, because you've been right in the centre of all of this. And also to two mates that are missing at the moment, Dave uh, Hart, our chairman, yeah. who, is, uh, is, who couldn't make it. And also, I think, to Rob Williamson, yeah. who, uh, who actually was at the head of the, the, um, the air fest that actually brought us all together for this uh, battle of so To the, those guys, cheers. Yeah. 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 day two of our flyaway and just got back from the jeez I keep it forgetting the name the bush bush pub or something like that um, <laughs> anyway so we kind of left a few of the guys there that were still playing pool uh, but most of the others left and we've all walked home it's now what, quarter past eleven probably time to get into bed as most most of you want to get up or most of us should I say want to get up early tomorrow and get going, um, especially some of the slower aircraft, so that we can get home in good time. It's it's quite a long pull, and um, I think most guys are going to pick up fuel halfway along, so probably Crawfinet or, or Port Elizabeth somewhere along there, um, depending on which way the guys are going. But overall, it was a good day. Um, I think a lot of people had fun. Some guys went off to their wine farms. Uh, we went off to an olive farm. Um, they did some cheese tasting, and we watched. A good game of rugby. We South Africa won, <laughs> which is it's always good. And uh, then we headed off to. I would say it was it was actually a very nice meal. Um, good evening for everybody. Uh, wonderful, wonderful people again. Uh, very, very good hospitality in this town. Um, so thank you, thank you for that. And yeah, I reckon we'll be back again sometime. So I guess it's time to get into bed. <laughs> Luckily I've got a heat in my room and an electric blanket so it's quite warm for me. Uh, I'm not sure about all of you other guys <laughs> but I'll be sleeping warm tonight. We'll see you in the morning. Right. <laughs> what? Why doesn't this thing want to stop recording?
morning. You ready? Uh, am I messing up your shot? No, it's okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, 7.30 on the last day of our uh, flyaway, and we're just about to leave Prince Alfred. Uh, it's pretty cold, but not as cold as yesterday. And uh, I suppose we've got to get some breakfast first and then and then head out. Um, where are we going, actually? We're going to pee. Going to pee, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to pee. See you later. Okay, so we're about to get going. Um, we just had to wait for all the uh, Tupperwares to get out of the way before we could actually start up and, and go since we we're at the end of the queue. <laughs> but uh, I think it's all clear now. And Sam, are you ready to go? Yeah, Sweet. Good, good. Yeah, they went. They got top jelly. Yeah, yeah I've been able to put the cow on. Thank God. <laughs> You see, this is called good airmanship. Um, we're flying with Sam Hobson, and he wants us to push the aircraft right out the way. Unlike all these other other pilots that blew everybody full of dust. Good on you, Sam. Good on you.
Just arrived uh, back in Port Elizabeth. Um, it was a great flight with Sam. Very easy. No, very easy. We just got to refuel quickly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>